trustworthy statement. If any man is what? If any who? Man. Not that John. He meant any human. No, no man. He meant any human being, right? He's gonna no, clarify man. that as you continue. Oh, oh! If I continue, he's gonna clarify it. Missy, are you reading with me? That's why I didn't write you. Now let the Holy Spirit convict you of your debauchery and your sin and get your behind out that pulpit. But that's all right. Man, don't email me. <laughs> no more. And I know she's cussing and fuming when she sees this because that's what they do. They want to hit you. They want to hit you. Look what it says. It says, if any man aspires to the office of overseer, it is a fine work she does. He. Huh? He does. He. It, it didn't say she? No. Okay. He desires to do. An overseer then must be above reproach. The wife of one wife? Yes. A husband. <laughs> well, she said she. I'm just trying to help Missy. <laughs> see, see, see. It says. Uh, uh, see, this sounds a problem. And those of you that's going to them churches, you're following a witch. See, and I don't know what you did. Hey, I didn't say this. Here it is. Yeah, but I love her. That's your mama. You're supposed to love her. But tell her you want some biscuits. I Wait. Wait a minute. It's a, and I didn't mean it like that. Maybe she can't cook. I was talking to a man, Allison, and a man told me, Pastor John, I can't find a wife. I said, what? They can't cook. They can't cook, man. I said, she don't know what to do. <laughs> the man said, we always going out to McDonald's. I said, man, you're going to get sick. You can't do that. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know what I call it, children cover up years. You know what I call it. I'm going to tell you, Missy. Some kind of envy. Put a P on it. That's what you are. And you need to stop because you're wrong. Living in sin. All the bots. Wait a minute. Hey, don't get me started. That would be me. That would be like me trying to have a baby. I want a baby. And I'm going to, you know, act like I'm pregnant and, and walk around and go to the hospital and adopt my baby and come out holding it and everything. Man, what happened to you? Missy. Damn. Look at here. Above reproach, the husband of one wife. I'm going to stop right there because that's enough. She cannot be a she, uh, a she, he, <laughs> if they're trying to be a pastor. Can't be it. I'll rest my case. Back to verse 20. We have a good foundation in verse 20. We follow the doctrine of the apostles preach. That's what I just gave you. The doctrine of the apostles. The doctrine of the apostles are clear. In specific, that's the way it is. Secondly, we therefore follow preacher prophets who profess Bible truth. We do not follow preacher prophet types that don't preach the truth. Get up and leave them. We follow as a people Jesus Christ. There is no other person that is the head of the church. Christ is the head of our church, not even Pastor John. Don't ever tell anybody you following me because I will deny it. I would say I ain't leading. All I'm supposed to do is give them the word of God. Now, something else. We understand that we are working as a team effort. Look at verse 21a. Verse 21a says, In whom the whole building being fitted together. See, this is a team effort. Fitted together. I don't know why. Well, I know why our associate pastor isn't here. He had to work this Sunday, but the other uh, members of our fellowship, I don't know. I don't, you know what, I remember we had a brother here that used to minister every week. Somebody asked me, where is he? I don't know. He hasn't called me. I don't call people that don't come here anymore. Why? Because I'm not the head of the church. I'm not the head of the church. I'm the Bible teacher. Only thing God told me to do is have your house, a place fixed up, comfortable for the saints, and preach the word. God did not tell me to call somebody and ask them why they're not coming to church. If they don't want to come to church, that's their business. If they find another church, that's their business. I hope they're following the truth. Surely I'm not the only man in L.A. teaching the truth. 
But keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. If you, all right, let me ask you right up front. Can anybody think of in South Central Los Angeles any other Bible church that you can go? I even had a man that goes to a Bible church not too far from here. And he said he was going to their Valentine's dinner and everything. I said, that's wonderful. But then he calls me and I said, why are you calling me? Why don't you get with the people over there? He said, man, them people don't even know I exist. But he's going there to get some Valentine's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let me keep moving. You will love these next verses. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Verses 14 through 18. Make sure I got that verse right. 1 Corinthians 6, 14 through 18. It reads like this. Now God has not raised the Lord. Now, now God has not only raised the Lord, but he will also raise us up through his power. Do you not know that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take away the members of Christ and to make them members of a prostitute? May it never be. I hope that this is the right. Yes, yes, that's right. Or do you not know that the one who joins himself to a prostitute is one body with her? For he says the two shall become one flesh. Then he says, but the one who joins himself to the Lord is one spirit with him. Then he says, flee immorality. Every other sin that a man commits is outside of the body, but the immoral man sins against his own body. The reason that I raise that uh, particular context of Scripture is that we cannot be joined with those that oppose, nor can we join ourselves religiously to those kinds of idealisms that oppose. It's just like us joining ourselves with a hope. See, and I know this is serious, Man, why do you guys think other pastors out there hate me? Why do you think they hate me? You, you know what he tell me? Well, John, you know, you kind of right, but you didn't have to say it that way. <laughs> How do you want me to say it? We cannot be joined with someone. Our brother that plays the drums, he works at another church on Sunday, and they have a pastor there, and he went to a men's meeting, and they were discussing what they were going to do. And the brother sat under my teachings for years, even when I was at the vet. And so he heard something. He told me, he said, man, I heard him say that. And, and Tony said, oh, no, man, you can't do that. No, no, that ain't Bible. And so they said, oh, you. He said, no, no, man, that ain't Bible. And then Tony said, if you do that, I'm leaving here. Get yourself another drum. I ain't coming be because they liked it, hip-hop. And he said that they didn't do it. So he sees himself as kind of like, you know, that's my mission to help those people over there. I said, well, you ought to tell your pastor to come and take basics with me. But then, no, I know what you say, Greg. That's another story altogether. You went off on a different area altogether, but I'm going to leave you alone because you all know Greg over there. He's sitting over there in the corner just waiting to come up. We see the, uh, the divine direction here. Never compromise yourself, people. And never compromise yourself because of your love for other people. I cannot be fitted together with those who are the enemy. That's what verse 21 is saying. We can't be fitted with those of the enemy. We are under, I'm sorry, verse 20, the foundation of apostles and...